They were found in bad shape at a central Kentucky farm. Some horses had been abandoned and were starving. But they were rescued, and now months later, they're doing much better. New at 11 tonight, Victor Puente talks to some people at the organization that stepped in to help them. Back in August, the Kentucky Equine Humane Center took in seven mares from an abandonment case. Some of them were in poor health, but since then, they've recovered may soon be up for adoption. In that case, more than 40 horses were in need of new homes. When we get calls from people who have large numbers of horses that need some kind of placement, we really try to make room. That included a registered thoroughbred named Jazz Combo and her filly named Rhythm and Grace. The young horse required immediate attention. And her mom was not in very good condition at all. But in the months since, both have put on weight and are beginning to thrive. The center takes in horses and gets them healthy until they can find new homes. We have a part-time trainer who works with every horse to get them to some level of rideability, and then we adopt them out to a new home. A grant from the ASPCA helped with the care of the seven horses taken in that case. Donations are also a big part of the work done here. It's very tangible, um, very visible. It's very gratifying to see a horse like Jazz Combo come in, who is basically um, very compromised physically, and they open up like little flowers. <laughs> they really do. It's pretty neat to watch. Gustin says on average, the center takes in and adopts out between six to ten horses a month, and that can get expensive, with care for a single horse costing about $500 during that month. In Jessamine County, Victor Puente, WKYT. The Equine Humane Center hosts two large fundraisers every year. The first will be April 18th at Ball and Trey Farm in Lexington.